What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV in this video. I'm going to go through Goodlock. If you want to download Goodlock, go into your Galaxy App Store on your phone and then search for Goodlock. Very easy to find. Search for it up there. Once you find it, download it, install it. It has a bunch of modules in it. The module that we're specifically going to go through today is called One Hand Operation Plus. I'm making a bunch of these videos, so depending upon when you watch it, I'll put all the links down below in the description of the video so you can watch the rest of them so you can easily follow along. So let's go in here. So you can see this one, use your phone or tablet easily with your just your thumbs. So we're going to click into that. And what happens is when you use this one, you have to officially turn it on. You have left handle and right handle, so that means both sides. I have it only on the right handle, but I'll turn it on for left just to show you. And if you turn it on for one, you can see it just automatically turns on for the other, unless you completely turn it off. But I have it on, and you can see this is right here where all the action is going to take place. I have, if I click into uh, left handle for instance, I can change these gestures around. So basically the way it's gonna work is, when I swipe like this way or this way, if it's on left or the right, it's gonna go back. If I swipe up like diagonal, it's gonna go recent up. It's gonna show my recent apps. And then if I swipe down diagonally, it's gonna go to my back key again. So I'm just gonna go back here just to show you. So I'm gonna swipe up like that. It's gonna show me my recent apps, just like I showed you. If I swipe back like this, it's gonna go back. And it tells you it's basically gonna go back. So I'll just open up something like this. You can see it goes back, definitely works really, really good in that regard. And it allows you to not have to use uh, multiple hands when you're in here. Now let's just go back in here. Cause if I come in here and see straight key, I can change it to something else. It doesn't necessarily have to be the back key. Maybe I want those gestures to do something kind of different. Maybe I want it to go, so the volume's up or I want it to play, pause my track, or I want to, go forward on my web browser, or open my notification panel, or turn on my flashlight. There's some, there's a lot of stuff in here that you can do to take advantage of this so that it's a little bit easier. So I like being able to easily turn on my flashlight. So I'm gonna make sure that when I swipe from the left side over, it's gonna turn my flashlight on. So I'll show you. I'm gonna hit my home button and my flashlight is now on. I'm gonna swipe it again. You can see the flashlight, you can see the light back there. And now it's off, so on, off, on, off. And you can switch that for any of those descriptions in here. It's really, really handy actually, uh, especially with a big unwieldy phone such as the Galaxy Z Fold 4 or really any phone at that point. Some other things in here. So you can long swipe, perform different actions when you do a longer swipe and hold your finger on the screen. So if you turn that on, you can add even more functionality. So for instance, if I swipe over and hold, it's gonna open up my quick tools if I wanted to, or I can click on that and make it do something else. Maybe I want it to move my screen or keyboard shortcuts or do a floating navigation or virtual touchpad. It will do any of these things. And I can even choose these other things as well. Maybe I just want it to do go jump into screen or or do a screenshot. So I'll show you, I can go like this, and it took that screenshot. So you can have it do a million things just on these swipes. Same, same thing with these long swipes for diagonal up and diagonal down. Keep the left and the right side, uh, the same size and position. You can do that if you wish. And if you do uncheck align handles, this is where you can change. So I'm on the left handle, so I can make this skinnier if I want, or I can change the size of it to be smaller or bigger be the whole screen basically, uh, or change the position. So it's up to you how you want to set that up. I usually like to just align the handles just to be safe though. Going back here, and you can do the same exact thing in the right handle as well. Change it to whatever you want. You can have different ones for, for each, each one. Doesn't matter, turn on long swipe, align handles against the same exact thing as the left one. If you go into advanced settings, you can do app exceptions. Choose apps where the gesture handles won't be shown and the gestures won't be recognized. So you can come in here, like maybe you're in a specific app such as your photo app and when you're swiping through photos, you don't wanna to have to accidentally turn it off. So maybe you go into, like I said, Google Photos. We're just going to the gallery actually. So let's go into, we'll choose gallery. So if I'm in the gallery app and I swipe over, it's just gonna 
go through my photos. It's not going to go back if I swipe over and hold. So you can see it's not using those gestures anymore because I disabled it for this specific app. So you can come in here and turn any or, or all on whatever you want. If you want to change the animation, it's very easy. Just come in here. Uh, when you do the gesture, it'll you know either do a curved line or an arrow. Depends on how you want to do it. So just whatever you want to do. However you like it, you can change the animations and change the colors as well in here. Landscape mode, you can show gesture handles in landscape mode as well, as meaning if you turn it this way, you can still have those gestures turned on and off. If you like to use your S Pen for gestures, you can turn that on or off as well so that when you do the swipe up or right to the left, if you do those and you have your gestures turned on and you have S Pen gestures turned on, they will still continue to work. Uh, move the gesture handles above the keyboard so they don't interfere with typing. So if you're typing something, you can see I can, the gestures are normally right here, but now if I swipe to the right, you see it still goes back. So it's kind of helpful uh, to be able to have the gestures be above, even though my keyboard takes up a big part of the screen. And then also you can hide them on your lock screen or have them, and you can also hide them uh, with the quick panel if you want. Gesture settings, if you come in here, you can turn on quick action. So it'll actually start the action before you even release your finger from the screen. So if you want it to be faster, it will do that. So I'll just go here and see, even before I lift my finger, it's still changing those gestures. So you can make them feel even faster by turning on that uh, feature. Uh, gesture angles, if you don't like the angles that they're set at, you can see right here, you can move these and adjust them. So maybe you want the, the, the one that's in the bottom right to be a little bit more to that way and this to be closer. So you can, you can change these and then hit okay or restore your defaults or whatever you want. Swipe distance, if you don't want to have to swipe as far to get the action to go, you can make it shorter or you can make it longer if you want it to be, you can see. See how long that line goes over to the left? You can make it as short or as long as you want so you don't have to you know, move your finger as much. Long swipe duration, that's the one where you like press and hold like that or whatever action you're doing and pressing and holding it, you can make the duration shorter or longer. And then just, I showed you this on an individual basis of left and right, but if you want, if you have these aligned, this is where you can control the width of the touch bars, you know, where you're on the left and the right, uh, or left or right, you can change the size of them, make them bigger, smaller. You can change the position. If you want it to be a little bit lower, you can do that. You can also change the handle color. If you want it to be a specific color, just come in here and do that. Custom vibration intensity. So you can come in here. If you turn that on, it automatically turns vibration level. So it'll change your vibrations higher or lower depending upon how you want it to be. And that is one hand operation. A lot of stuff in there, but very helpful stuff. If you have a big phone and you have trouble using it, go in here and download this app. It's free. Works great. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch the rest of these videos, they're linked down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.